The question here is P, Q, R, S, T, V and W are seven students of a school. Each of them studies in a different standard from standard 4 to standard 10, not necessarily in the same order. Each of them has a favorite subject from English, Science, History, Geography, Mathematics, Hindi and Sanskrit, not necessarily in the same order. So as we can see here, there are seven students, seven standards from standard 4 to standard 10 and seven different subjects. So we need to do the complete assignment that is find out the correct standard for each of the students and his favorite subject. So as I've already mentioned, we first need to make three columns here. One is for the standard of the student. The second one is the student name. And the third one is his favorite subject. So let us make a complete table. Now first let us list down the name of all the seven students. That is P, Q, R, S, T, V, and W. So for each of these students, we need to find out the standard and subject. We know that the given standards are from 4th to 10th and there are 7 subjects. So let us read the statements one by one and try to fill the table. The first statement here is Q studies in 7th standard and does not like either mathematics or geography. So the student Q studies in 7th standard and he does not like either mathematics or geography. Remember, whenever we know that a particular parameter cannot be occupied in some given place, let us just write it outside the table. Therefore, math and geography cannot be occupied as a favorite subject for Q. The next statement is R likes English and does not study either in 5th or in 9th standard. So we know that R likes English and he does not study in 5th or in 9th standard. So let us just write it outside the table. That is 5th or 9th cannot come in our, our standard. The next statement is T studies in 8th standard and likes Hindi. So this is the complete information which says T studies in 8th standard and he likes Hindi. So Hindi is his favorite subject and he studies in 8th standard. The next point is the one who likes science studies in 10th standard. So we, we know that the person who likes science should be studying in 10th standard. Now if you observe here neither the 10th standard nor the subject science has been fixed yet. So let us simply understand that science and 10th standard should go together. The next point is S studies in 4th standard. So let us mark the standard for the student S. The next one is W likes Sanskrit. So W's favorite subject is Sanskrit. The next point is P does not study in 10th standard. So we can write 10th standard outside meaning that 10th cannot be the standard for P. And the last statement is the one who likes geography studies in 5th standard. As we can see the 5th standard or the subject geography has not been allotted yet. So we cannot find out the exact position of fifth standard and geography let us simply mark it outside meaning geography should go along with fifth standard so this is the given information so far we have fixed three standards and three subjects for the given students and the only information which we have now is science should go along with 10th standard geography should go along with fifth standard math and geography cannot be the favorite subjects for q and 10th standard cannot be for p and 5th and 9th standards cannot be for R. Let us now fill the remaining gaps in the table with the help of these points. We know that science and 10th standard should go together and geography and 5th standard should go together. And from the assignment that we have done so far, we have two persons who have neither been allotted with their standard or their favorite subject that is P and V. So definitely these two should be either for P or for V respectively. Now if we can see the student P does not study in 10th standard. Therefore science in 10th standard cannot be for P. And the remaining persons have either been allotted with class or subject. So the only possibility for science in 10th standard is for the student P. So we can say that V studies in 10th standard and his favorite subject is science. So this part is over. The next point here is geography and 5th standard should go together. And now we know that the only person left out with both the columns vacant is P. So this geography and fifth standard should be for the student P.
he studies in fifth standard and his favorite subject is geography so even the second point has been used let us now try to fill the remaining gaps if you observe here there are two classes yet to be allotted that is class 9 and class 6 and we very well know that student R does not study in class 9 so he has to go for class 6 and the left out student W should be studying in class 9 so with this we have finished the allotment of all the all the seven standards moving on to the subjects part there are two columns vacant and the two subjects which have not been allotted so far are history and mathematics we very well know that the student Q does not like mathematics so the only option left out for Q is history and once Q takes history the student S should take the subject mathematics so with this the allotment of subjects is also over let us now look at the various questions that have been asked for the assignment that we have just finished the first question here is in which standard does W study as we can see from the assignment W studies in 9th standard so the answer for question number 1 is 9 second question is which subject does P like we know that P likes geography so the answer for question 2 should be geography the third one here is which subject does S like from the assignment we can see S likes mathematics so the answer for question 3 should be mathematics the fourth one is in which standard does P study we know that P studies in fifth standard so the answer for question 4 is fifth standard and the last question here is which of the following combinations of student standard subject is correct so let us verify it from the given options the first option is T in eighth standard with favorite subject mathematics we can see that T studies in eighth standard but his favorite subject is Hindi so first option is ruled out the second option is W in 7th standard and his favorite subject should be Sanskrit. We can see that W studies in 9th standard. So even second option gets cancelled. The third option is Q in 7th standard with favorite subject geography. If you can see Q studies in 7th standard but his favorite subject is history. So we can say that third option cannot be the answer. And the last option is student V in 10th standard and he likes science. If you can see here, V studies in 10th standard and his favorite subject is science. So fourth option should be the answer for question number 5. So friends, as you have seen here, answering these 5 questions will not take more than 10 seconds. The only thing which we need to do properly is the allotment of the variables in the correct order. That's all from complex arrangements. See you in the next session. Thank you.